Welcome to Yellow Luck Motorsports coverage here today of Westlake's Automobile Club's Rally Sprint Series. This is round two in May of 2021. Competitors here are getting themselves organised for the start of the event, getting their cars unloaded and generally uh, prepping for uh, the event. Here we have uh, scrutineering where the cars are checked for uh, compliance and their safety requirements and and that they're in good condition. This is a day-night event where uh, competitors will do a, a few runs during the daylight and then again at night around the tricky Awawawak Park. First up here we have Peter in this uh, purpose-built buggy. Um, very quick machine. Throwing it around here using lots of revs and a bit sideways. And a bit more sideways there. Oh, what a spectacular piece of machinery this thing is. Very quick. Throwing it around these corners here. Oh, well sideways there. My goodness. What a piece of machinery. This might be one of the uh, front runners here today. Next up we have Brad in a WRX Subaru. Again, throwing it into the corner. Four-wheel drive car here, so uh, somewhat of a di different... Uh, technique to driving get all the power to the ground two litre turbocharged engine take a bit of a technique to drive these four wheel drive cars they seem to uh, require a, a certain different driving style to both the front and rear wheel drive cars next up we have muscle car here a Holden Commodore driven by Michael here throwing it around here using all the revs my goodness Dropping dirt all over our camera. Oh my goodness. It's good to see someone uh, tackling uh, this twisty, turny course in a, in a big V8 car. Plenty of sideways motoring there, throwing up the dust. Oh, and more sideways motoring from this big V8 Holden Commodore here. Next up, uh, at the other end of the spectrum, I suppose, we have a Mazda RX-7 being driven by David. These cars are uh, rear-wheel drive, rotary engine, needs the uh, momentum, keep them moving. Nice smooth lines here from this driver here. Keep the revs up these uh, Mazdas. Oh, a bit sideways there, it'll bog down a bit. Next car on the course here is a Ford Escort. Iconic rally car really. Craig is driving and my goodness, oh well sideways through there. These are a classic rally car. Um, been around for a long time, of course, and rallied uh, extensively. Not so much in Australia, I think, during the 70s, but in the 80s. They've certainly become very popular in later years. Basically, you can get anything you want for one of these. You can actually buy a brand new one if you want one out of England. Next up, we've got the uh, Datsun 1200 here of uh, Craig. Oh my goodness, a bit of sideways motoring there. Plenty of ground clearance on this little Datsun. Uh, all those revs certainly has the note to it, the unmistakable noise of, of twin Webbers and a Datsun engine. You can't miss that noise. There's something about it. But, uh, and now we have uh, a sort of Mazda. This is a four-wheel drive turbocharged car. It's uh, been driven by Amanda. And my goodness, these were uh, very popular in the early days of four-wheel drive turbocharged rally cars. One of the first to sort of come along in the Group A era. And they were mighty quick machines. Now, of course, we have the uh, Subaru WRX of uh, Daryl. And uh, <laughs> using lots of revs and and lots of power here, getting all that power through the four-wheel drive system down on the ground. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of understeer as it come into this tight band. These Subarus are very popular rally cars these days. They're uh, relatively easily available, and I think about the spares are probably available as well. Next on the course, we have a. Little Hyundai being thrown very vigorously ar around the course by uh, Richard, using all the revs and uh, 
and throwing the car into the corners. I'm not sure that's the quickest way to drive a front wheel drive underpowered little car. Oh, throwing it into the corner there, wiping off some speed. These little Hyundai's are uh, very popular due to a, a one make series for these uh, cars. And here we have another little Hyundai. Little front wheel drive car. This one's been driven by Casey. Very popular little car, quite a lot of them here today at Awabawak Park for this event. Being driven quite conservatively here, nice smooth lines. This may well be the way to drive these cars. Keep them moving, keep them uh, in straight line. Less chance of them washing off speed because they're not the big powerhouse sort of car. Gotta keep them sort of like a racing driver, really. Next on the course here is a little Toyota Corolla being driven by Colin. Oh, another wonderful sounding car. Clever's induction noise, unmistakable. Nice clean straight lines through there. Great little rally car in their day. Small, nimble. Next out on the course here is uh, an Evo 4 of uh, Lewis. Mitsubishi's uh, Evos, of course, are, are uh, great rally cars. I don't think these were sold in Australia, so they're not as popular as the Subaru, simply from an availability standpoint, I think. Possibly a spare parts standpoint. Now we have another WRX here from uh, being driven by Ben. Should know his way around this course. Uh, long time Westlake automobile member. Throwing the car around with gusto here. Trying to get all the power down. Two litre turbocharged sort of four wheel drive car. And Subaru seem to have a tendency to understeer a little bit into that Ben, but uh, four-wheel drive system you, you sort of just keep on the power and, and steer them. Next up a Holden Gemini. Now Holden and Gemini were uh, very popular way back in time like the uh, Hyundai they uh, had a one make series for them. Anthony here throwing this one around. A little bit of blue smoke amongst the dust there. Motor might be getting a bit tired sounds good. Certainly getting around the course fairly quickly. Underrated car I think in their day. Next up we uh, have the Honda of Martin. Front wheel drive car. Now, front wheel drive cars require a certain knack I think to drive them on these uh, loose surface like this. Um, maybe they need to be kept in a straight sort of line more like a racing driver. They do have a tendency to understeer and uh, that probably needs a bit of an adaption to your driving style. Nevertheless. Oh, what do we have here? This is a little Hyundai, being driven by uh, Veronica. Very little Hyundai. In fact, if you'd asked me what it was, I wouldn't have known what it was. Even only from the notes I have here, telling me it's a Hyundai. Again, front wheel drive car, not a lot of power, so it needs to be driven smoothly. Take the racing lines, keep the momentum up through the corners. Try not to wash up too much speed with understeer or oversteer. Ah, here we have a uh, Subaru WRX being thrown around the course. Paul driving, keeping that lots of power and lots, lots of revs here. Throwing it into oh, lots of understeer in that corner, came into it a little bit too quick I think. Around here, four wheel drive, turbocharged car here. 
Uh, here we have uh, the Ford Escort again. This is a double entry. Been driven by Aaron this time. Little flick into the bend there. All the power down. Wonderful rally car, these things. Quick through there. Very oversteer around there. Very good rally car, these things. Nice looking thing as well. Here we have another WRX. Been uh, driven by uh, Caleb, is it? Lots of revs, lots of power. They're very quick, these. Uh, WRX Subarus, very distinct note to them. Like the twin Weber Datsun 1600, you can hear them coming. Oh my goodness, a BMW, a black BMW at that. My goodness, being driven by Simon. Great to see somebody uh, using a car that perhaps isn't sort of well known for motorsport at this level anyway. Um, oh, beautiful ground there. BMW are more noted for their sort of circuit racing activities. Now we have a, a WRX again. This one is another double entry being driven by Stuart this time. Oh, come a bit close to the camera there for safety. Getting this uh, WRX around the course. Very popular with WRXs. They're uh, getting quite old now and probably pick them up relatively cheaply. Next car out is a, another Hyundai driven by Nikki. Nice looking one this one, nice colour, wig on the back, looks the part. And they keep these uh, underpowered front wheel drive cars nice and neat and tidy, take the racing lines. Here we have another double entry, the Honda, of uh, the Honda, being uh, driven here. These double entered cars probably have a bit of a hard time during the day doing quite a few Ks. Front wheel drive car of course. Need to keep it neat and tidy. Next out is a uh, what looks like a Nissan Pulsar, been driven by Russell. Front wheel drive car again, using lots of revs and throwing it through the corners. Nissan, of course, well known for its motor sporting activities, but mostly going back in time with the Datsun 1600 and others. Here we have another car here, this is a little Mazda being driven by Madeline. Very small little car, not very powerful, so you need to keep it neat and tidy, front wheel drive. Keep it, the momentum up. Uh, what do we have here? Another little high Hyundai. Quite a lot of high Hyundai's entered here today. I'm not sure of the number, but there's quite a few of them. Right, here's another one. Little high Hyundai. Certainly would take a certain technique to drive these things. Oh, yet another high Hyundai. Got to keep them smooth and straight. Very popular with their one make series. And here's another one. Yes, nice little high Hyundai, nice line through there. Uh, what do we have here? That's the one Addy B. Well, that's about me for now. I'm Quack McMullard. Bye for now.